Alpine climbing is the pursuit of two halves. In one hand, you hold an intense love for the mountains, climbing, and the partners with which you share a rope, but in the other is the suffering, risk, and the mountains' pure indifference to your presence. Their power is humbling and to be respected, as you were just a guest in their domain, praying for safe passage. Many thanks to the Canadian Rockies for a month of joy, adventures, and beatdowns. For the trip to Canada, it was the wild thing I'm at Capron. In our warm up, we thought would be to go attempt Asteroid Alley or the A Strain on Andromeda on Icicles Parkway. Did most of the approach, but it's just desperate conditions and avalanches coming down everywhere and spindrift coming down and then going back up the face. No good. The high winds, there's a very local wind slab problem in the Andromeda Valley. So underneath Asteroid Alley was you know, a 200 foot wide avalanche crown. And then with the polar vortex, you couldn't take your hands out of your belay mitts for more than about a minute without losing feelings. So it was kind of a joke of an attempt, but a good aerobic fitness day made us realize the conditions we were gonna be facing on this trip. So our third climber for Kefren, Paul Shaughnessy, arrived a week into the trip. Um, my partner, Emily, um, had RSV um, for about two weeks, first two weeks of the trip ended up or ended up getting passed on Charlie during that period right when Paul showed up. So me and Paul spent a few days at this Alpine dry tilling crag called El Dorado. And we were just waiting for a weather window um, to make the wild thing happen. So I've been inspired by the wild thing on Capron since I was 18 years old when I first drove by it. I've been obsessing over it ever since, following whoever's done it, and seeing the conditions they had. All the time I've seen ice on that first pitch. And when we first drove by it on this trip, it was pretty much dry on that first pitch, which had me concerned. So when we got to the base, um, there's just spin drift pouring down it. So I realized I'm like, that will not be possible with that amount of spin drift. Kind of hiked around at the base looking for variations. And I pretty much knew at that point, I'm like, there's no way through this that's gonna be fast. Charlie got pretty motivated on a left variation that I'm pretty sure has never been done. I'm pretty confident and racked up for the lead, which ended up being two sort of short pitches, a very intricate, pretty dangerous M7, M7 plus R climbing. I spent a couple hours blaming him on it, scared. <laughs> He's gonna back two on the anchor, very hard climbing. It was more difficult than the M7 climbing on Man Yoga. Bad hooks, desperate feet, bad gear. I remember being like 15, 20 feet out from the belay. I had hammered in a horizontal angle piton and it put two cans and some chassis rock. It was just creaking on little stein poles on slopers. I'm looking back at Noah and Noah just has this worried look on his face like I'm about to blow it and rip our anchor out of the wall and it was definitely going through my head like, I really need to get a piece soon. On top of all of this, you know, I was still sick. I had felt terrible on the approach. Two days prior to the trip, I had been shitting my brains out eight to 12 times a day, and it, it kind of continued. I, when I topped the second pitch out and got us through that section, I remember fixing the rope and kind of panically pulling down my pants. But I was just so sick. It took, yeah, four or five hours to figure out the first just 200 feet with the variation that we did and for all of us to get on top of it. But we started blasting ups, simul climbing the next thousand feet. It was interesting, the snow conditions on the route, you want just enough snow to move fast, but not so much snow that there's high avalanche danger, but not too little snow because then the climbing gets harder. And we had done a large portion of the first gully system and we had seen from the road that the second gully had been completely wind swept and was mostly going to be mixed climbing on slab. So with the speed of how fast we were moving and how long the first section had taken, myself being sick after debating once we stopped our first simul block, we made the call to live another day and started wrapping down tails between our legs. We weren't man enough. <laughs>